Hi, I'm Miss Hearn. Let's get started. We're going to talk about space figures in this video. Just a real quick introduction. Space figures are geometric objects that take up three dimensions of space, right? So we can draw them on a sheet of paper, but you know, we have to kind of be a little artistic about it <laughs> because they have three dimensions. Polyhedra are space figures with faces that are made up of only polygons. And so we might have figures made up of triangles or squares, pentagons, or any combination of them. There's a special category of polyhedra called the platonic solids, which are made up of regular bases. For example, a tetrahedron is made up of four equilateral triangles. There are only five platonic solids. The tetrahedron, which looks like a little pyramid, the hexahedron, which is a cube made of six squares, the octahedron, the dodecahedron, and the icosahedron. We're not going to do much with these objects except for the first two because they fall into two categories that are going to be important to us. In particular, the tetrahedron is a type of pyramid, and the cube is what's called a prism. So let's talk about pyramids and prisms. Pyramids are made up of triangular sides and a polygon for the base. It could be a square, it could be a pentagon, it could be a triangle. And then it comes up to a single point at the top called the vertex. So the blue and orange figures are pyramids. We will also be interested in prisms, which have two faces in parallel planes that are the same polygon shape. These faces are congruent to each other. They're the same size and shape. And then the sides of the prisms are all rectangles. Now, related to these two categories are some shapes that we categorize differently because they involve circles. Figures made up in part of circles, we kind of put in their own category. So those might include a sphere, a right circular cone, or a right circular cylinder. We're gonna see that there's relationships between pyramids and cones. You see how they come to the point at the top? We're gonna be able to use some of the same tricks to find volumes, for pyramids as for cones. Similarly, uh, a right circular cylinder isn't technically a prism, but we're gonna use some of the same techniques to find the volumes of prisms and right circular cylinders. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That will help other students to find the video.